sir now i hope it is very clear about concurrency problems and isolation levels right now my question is very important question sir observe that carefully in jdbc how many isolation levels are there as per our previous discussion can you please tell how many isolation levels are there in jdbc transaction isolation levels how many are there are you respond man almost around the two or three videos we covered only about this isolation levels and transaction yes how many isolation levels are there yes make sure four or five are you four or five sir up to this you covered only four ha huh? four that's why obviously four is the answer make sure sir make sure sir in jdbc total five transaction isolation levels are possible how many numbers are five sir what is about fifth one observe that sir total five five very important question for the entire room sir in jdbc how many transaction isolation levels are defined what is the answer you can take five sir five sir what is the first one sir transaction are you getting what is the first one sir transaction transaction none none okay this one we never give that much important transaction none none it's a constant value is zero sir zero what is the meaning of this one is yes. my jdbc my database won't provide support for transactions are you getting if you want to indicate my database won't provide support for transaction then by using which isolation level we can represent is yes. transaction none none then the remaining four already you people aware sir can you please guide ha ah, can you please guide transaction transaction read read uncommitted transaction read uncommitted uncommitted okay sir its value is nothing but 1 so just the uh, no problem will be solved with this but only advantage is if i can specify like this the my database will provide support for transactions next uh, what is the third one sir transaction a uh, transaction okay read read the committed transaction read the committed committed sir what is about its value to transaction read committed you can read only committed data dirty read problem by default will be solved sir remember that dirty read problem by default will be solved next uh, transaction what is the next one sir transaction transaction repeatable read are you getting transaction repeatable read read repeatable read sir transaction repeatable read do you know because of internal locking mechanism internal locking mechanism two problems by default will be solved dirty read problem will be solved non repeatable read problem also will be solved sir okay next uh, fifth one sir transaction okay transaction okay what is the last one serializable transaction serializable serializable right the most powerful highest level of isolation is like this so biggest advantage all the three problems by default will be solved but performance issue is there that's why this one is not recommended to you so in the intro room if any person is asking how many isolation levels are there what is the answer you have to tell four or five are what the answer you are going to tell four or five five isolation levels transaction none transaction read uncommitted read committed next multiple read multiple read next last one serializable clear for all of you right that's all very important entry equation in jdbc how many isolation levels are there okay now let me summarize let me summarize sir by using which isolation level which problems will be prevented okay sir total five isolation levels are there already we covered but uh, none none there is no use of that because just we can use a uh, none to indicate that database won't provide support for transactions so problems related is four isolation levels are there transaction read uncommitted transaction read committed transaction repeatable read serializable right next how many concurrency problems we discussed sir three problems sir. dirty read problem non repeatable read problem phantom read problem sir just uh, let me summarize which problems will be solved would by using which isolation level have a look once summary table of isolation levels sir isolation level sir total four isolation levels are there transaction read uncommitted transaction read committed transaction repeatable read transaction serializable 
Next, how many problems are there? Three problems are there. Sir, is a dirty read problem prevented? Is a non-repeatable read problem prevented? Is a phantom read problem prevented? Right. Okay, like. Sir, first one, sir. Transaction read uncommitted. Transaction read uncommitted. We can read uncommitted data also. Because of that, which problems will be prevented? No problem will be prevented, sir. All the three problems, there is a possibility to occur. That's why. So, is a dirty read problem prevented? No, sir. Is a non-repeatable read problem prevented? No. Is a phantom read problem prevented? No, sir. Are you getting? With the first isolation level, transaction read uncommitted, no problem will be solved. No problem will be prevented. Then immediately you may ask, what is the use of this one? What is the use of this one? Just we can use to indicate the database supports transactions. Beyond that, there is no use of that. Clear for all of you. Next, what is the second one? Transaction read committed. Transaction read committed. What is the meaning of that? Hey, we can read only committed data. We can read only committed data. We are not allowed to read uncommitted data. So we are allowed to read only committed data. That's why dirty read problem by default will be gone. There is no chance of occurring dirty read problems. Are. Is a dirty read problem prevented or not? Yes. Okay? Yes. Is a non-repeatable read problem prevented? No, sir. No, no, like this, make sure, sir. So, with the transaction read committed, only one problem will be prevented. What is that problem? Yes, sir, dirty read problem. Except that, remaining two problems, there is a possibility if I use this isolation level. Remember that. If you use Oracle database, default isolation level is transaction read committed only. In the Oracle database, by default, dirty read problem we can able to prevent, but these problems, there is a possibility, right? Remember. Next, uh, transaction repeatable read. Repeatable read. Sir, repeatable read, what will happen? The result of SQL query will be locked. The result of SQL query will be locked for only one transaction at a time. So, biggest advantage is, sir, dirty read problem can be prevented. Next, uh, non-repeatable problem also can be prevented. What is the reason for that is, sir, the result of SQL query will be locked for only one transaction so that other transactions are not allowed to modify that result. So, this uh, transaction can perform read operation any number of time, same result by default we are going to get. Clear for all of right? That's why. So, is a uh, non-repeatable read problem will be prevented or not? Yes. But the problem is, sir, phantom read problem still still sir it is not prevented so with the transaction repeatable read only two problems will be prevented but third problem as it is sir this is the default value for mysql database in the mysql default isolation level is what transaction repeatable read in mysql these two problems by default can be prevented but that the but uh, phantom read problem still there is a possibility right sir what is the last one highest level of Isolation level, serializable. Highest level of isolation level, serializable, right? So, with this, all the problems by default will be solved. Because the biggest advantage here is, the total table will be locked for only one transaction at a time. Because of that, sir, if one, one transaction access one table, that table cannot be accessed by other remaining transactions. So, dirty read problem, phantom read problem, non-repeatable read problem, all the three problems by default will will be prevented, sir. Is a dirty read problem prevented or not? Yes. Is a rep non-repeatable read problem prevented or not? Yes. Sir, is phantom read problem prevented or not? Yes. Remember. But this type of isolation never recommended. Even all the three problems got solved, sir. If you are getting something, you should miss something. So, three problems solved. But the biggest problem with this isolation level is total table will be locked for only one transaction. Then performance issues by default is going to come. So, performance is going to be down like anything. That's why this isolation level not recommended to use. Clear for all of you, right? So, what are what is a transaction? 
how you can implement transaction by using jdbc concept next and after that what is the save point what is the save point next and after the how to use a save point concept inside transactions next what are various transaction concurrency problems next to solve these concurrency problems we should go for isolation levels sir what are various isolation level by using which isolation level which problems will be solved can i sir can i expect everyone got clearly right if any person is asking transaction save point isolation level send the concurrency problem go left and right to that person are you getting right that's all sir thank you